Hello, cousins. Welcome back to CWA. 9.57 a.m. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. The Fool and the Queen of Swords. King of Swords. The Devil. Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. I mean, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Knight of Swords. The Death and the Fool. Here we go. Here we go. Someone's talking reckless. Oh, the devil and the in the seven of swords. They talking crazy. Wow, wow. This <laughs> the will of fortune and the page of swords. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> the nerve of you. When things ended with you and this person, this ten of swords, what you don't know is all the crazy shit that they said behind your motherfucking back. All of the things that this person said, they either said this crazy shit to your family or to theirs, if not both. Your family and friends or theirs, if not both. Somebody talked about you reckless than a motherfucker. Period. Temperance. After all this time later, they're going to, they, oh, I just feel like. No, this person talked about you like you was fucking, just, just a fucking, a, a sewer rat. A fucking sewer rat. This person talked so fucking reckless. About you after they did you fucking filthy. Now. Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. This person sees you're prospering without them. You good without them. So, this type of motherfucker that'll say some shit like, you wouldn't have had blah, blah, blah if it wasn't for me. Or blah, blah, blah wouldn't happen if it wasn't for me. Or blah, blah, blah wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you. Exactly the fucking moon. This person said a lot of reckless shit about you. So, before some of y'all get all soft and sensitive and, oh my god, this fan really likes me. Before you get stupid like that, let me tell you something. They don't fuck with you. Because what you don't know is all of the crazy shit that they said behind your fucking back. Honestly, the reason that this person is so quiet and they really can't come forward to say anything about you, the reason that they're stalking you, they can't say anything, is because of all of the shit that they said about you in the past. Period. This person's going to look more than stupid as fuck if they tell anybody that they told all of this crazy shit to later on that now I'm trying to fuck with this person again. If somebody told you if somebody told you this person this person be cheating and shit all the time like always cheating and shit, right? I don't want to fuck with this person. This person did it. I told all of the, told everything, whether it's good, what not good, whether it's true or false. <laughs> they told a whole bunch of crazy shit about you to these people, right? Somebody say a whole bunch of crazy shit. To, you find out this person dating somebody. They say this person doing all this shit to the point you ready to beat this motherfucker up, right? And then. Some time later, this same person tells you they about to get back with this person. You know how you would feel about that? That's how they family and friends feel. Because now this person, this person is really keeping that shit to themselves. And this shit is more, more than miserable for this person. All of the shit that they said. Do you know the type of shit you would have to say about somebody to spark this type of shit to where the whole family all your friends and family won't like they won't smoke and then you gonna go back and say you want to be with it remember the ex i was just telling y'all about the two exes i was telling y'all about imagine me coming back to tell y'all or anybody in my family that i wanted to fuck with them niggas again now how crazy would y'all go how, i know how they would get girl shut up you must be under distress how much you gonna get back with that nigga girl you you, you under distress huh this is a distress signal. You got shit fucked up, bugger. 
they can't say anything. They can't talk to you because of all the shit that they said about you. Everybody else, if you never know how other people are going to react to somebody you don't fuck with, which is the reason you have to be careful about certain shit. If somebody done said a whole bunch of crazy shit about you and they, so this is like, cause I'm gonna make it realistic. This is like one of my ex. Let's take the one that I was telling you about. My brother came out the bar with all the niggas, right? Let's take him for example. All of the crazy shit he said behind my back. Don't know. Don't give a fuck. But what I do know is clearly it wasn't wasn't accurate. If you trying to come back around, it wasn't accurate. Bitch, everything I said about the bitch was true. You would never come back into my life. I wouldn't even let you back in to do you filthy for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? So with that shit being said, all of the shit that this nigga said on his side probably had his family and friends feeling crazy and shit. Because the nigga told me one day, like, if we ever got back together, like... Because, uh, blah, 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 I said, you know what I'm saying? We might as well just get back together, nigga. So you was talking all this crazy shit and then told your friends that you wanted to get back with me and they agreed with that shit. Then later on was like, yeah, I mean, shit, I mean, if, if you know, you got somebody doing that type of shit. Some people was for it, other people was not. So some people like, shit, it is what it is. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Hey. To each his own. Other people was like, I wish you would get back with this motherfucker. I'm going to knock your shit off in there, too. Somebody who, that's what you don't know is being said. You ain't even paying no attention to this person. And this person is telling their family and friends that they want to be with you. Or this is what they thinking and they can't tell them because of all the shit that they done said. Period. So. Yeah, Mr. Lonely has nobody because they got fucked over. Whoever they were in a relationship with, you thought they was happy, they got fucked over. Period. They got did dirty than a motherfucker. They ended up being in a third party relationship and didn't even know about it. It looks like that was karma. But that still ain't got nothing to do with you. Why the fuck would you get back with this person? Are you slow? What is this? The tower. Somebody who did you filthy. Got done filthy. But all of the shit that they said about you. So it's almost like, it's almost like they met, they match. Whoever, whoever they did you filthy met somebody that did them even filthier than they did. Because they met, they match. That made, it's, it's like that was a wake up call. Oh my God, I realized who, who was actually my ten of cups, nine of pentacles. Oh my God, that's why they chasing you. You feel like this person is lingering in your energy. That's why. And they are lingering in your energy. You ain't going crazy. This person is literally lingering in your motherfucking energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You being watched like a fucking Hulk. They got humbled by whoever the fuck fucked them over. Period. They got humbled. Feminine or masculine. They got humbled. Now all of a sudden, I see, I see what it is. It's a change in perspective. They got dead filthy. You wondering why this person, I just feel like this person's around. I feel like this person's watching me. I feel like this person, you wondering. And you ain't tripping. It's facts. They got dead filthy. And that ain't your problem. Whether you're the feminine or the that's not your problem. essentially them getting done filthy wasn't that karma for fucking you over why would you allow that like what the fuck would make you think i would let you back in after you got done dirty like you did me filthy you got done filthy and i'm about to what now your feelings are important to me or something the fuck is you talking right now your feelings are important or something what the fuck are you talking about y'all really wonder like why is, how the fuck these exes like these motherfuckers is bold like how is y'all just yeah did yeah he trying to be Mr. Mr. Loving and, and blah, blah, blah. But you with the shits. You coming with the shits. Or she's trying to be like that. And you coming with the shits. You talk so fucking regular to the point. You can't, you can't even tell your family you want to fuck with this person. Like, that's crazy. And is not strong enough to stand up on what the fuck. They not strong enough to stand up by themselves. They not. 
they got fucking humbled. They got humbled on the niggas. They got humbled. The Ten of Cups, the Tower, the Seven of Swords, the, the Moon, the Devil, that shit blew up dead in their fucking face. They got used for something. This nigga got used for something. That shit blew up in his fucking face. Or it blew up in hers. However this goes, that shit blew up in this person's face. That's the fuck they get. Yeah, they was in the... Th Somebody could have used this person. So if this person has a child, like, like... If you, so if they fucked you over, you stopped dealing with this person, they started dealing with somebody or they was dealing with some, however it go, whoever the fuck they got with, if they have a kid with that person or 1044, if they have a kid after they dealt with you, that person got used for that baby. Whoever, whoever decided to fuck with that person was like, yeah, I'm about to trap you, bitch. You going to be here for the rest of my life now. Now, whatever I want, you going to do it. You, you, period, period. So I'm telling you, literally. If you stop fucking with this person and when they come, when they try to come back around, they have a kid and they trying to get back with you, they got used for that baby, period. What's this? They got used for that baby. Now, all of a sudden, oh, I just want somebody that's going to love me and my kid. No. This person's a single parent. They're a single parent. Now they're looking for somebody to love them and their child. That's not happening. You fucked me over. Got used for a baby. Now you trying to come back and think I'm about to love you and that baby? Are you stupid? Yes, you definitely are stupid. The fuck is you talking about? This is not This is not you meeting somebody brand new that has a kid. This is not that. This is literally somebody fucked you over. Oh, Y'all broke apart. They went and fucked with somebody else, had a baby, and now they're trying to come back and trying to get you to love them and that baby. Whether it's a female or a male. Do you hear the stupid shit we dealing with today? They got fucked over. Whoever the fuck they had a kid with is not a fit parent. At all. And you ain't about to be a replacement. What is this? Or maybe you what? I don't know. Because this could be some shit like you was around that kid. Like I remember I dated an ex who had a kid. I ain't have a problem with that. He was. He, me and buddy was extra close. I, I. That. Me and the man. But then at, at the same time, me and that motherfucker was supposed to get married. I looked at that little boy like he was mine. Like, I, I, like nigga, I birthed him type shit. Like, me birthing that child couldn't have made us any fucking closer. And sadly enough, his dad felt like I was closer to him than his fucking mother was. I gave more fuck about the boy than, than, than his own fucking mom did. Somebody is in a position like that. They they baby mama or they baby daddy don't really give a fuck. They're unfit as fuck. Somebody feels like they have all the responsibility on they on it like by themselves. Whoever the fuck this is, did you filthy? Whatever this is, let them let them that ain't your problem. Don't make your problem my problem. That ain't my problem. This person could have tossed you to the side for many a fucking people. I'm telling you, somebody used this motherfucker for a baby. That whoever, see, here's the sick part. I feel like what happened is whoever the fuck this is played you like you was fucking stupid. You really gave a fuck about this person. Gave this motherfucker love, attention, time, and affection, right? They didn't give a fuck. They thought whoever the fuck actually fucked them over, they thought that motherfucker was the love of their life. They thought you was the karmic. Feminine or masculine, they thought your motherfucking ass was the karmic. So they had a baby with this motherfucker and turns out that motherfucker don't even care about their fucking kid. Bare minimum. Care enough because I mean motherfucker came out of me. I made that motherfucker but other than that they don't really care too much. But that nigga love his baby. Got his oldest son is spoiled. And he gonna do whatever because she can't even afford him. Broke ass hoe. This nigga is now the main primary, like, he's the primary parent in his mind. He the primary parent because the other person don't really give a fuck. Or she is the primary parent because the other person don't give a fuck. That ain't your problem. You fucked me over when I had a baby with somebody that fucked you over. You think I'm about to love you and that baby, huh? You stupid. Nigga, you stupid, nigga. Yeah, because the mother does not want to be a part of it. So now they looking at you like, I think you the best fit. Bitch, please. 
Bitch, please. I remember my ex said that shit to me. Like, I'm just looking for somebody that's gonna look. Bitch, you talking to the wrong one, bitch. You talking to the wrong one, bitch. The wrong one. It ain't even about you having a kid with somebody else. It's what you did prior to. You fucked me over. What you talking about? This person fucked you. Whatever they did, they fucked you over. Now you got responsibilities. You want my help? Why would I help you? I don't even like you. What the fuck are you talking? I don't even like you don't even like this person. That's the sickest part. Of you don't like this person, bro. You don't. You don't. And as crazy as this person talked about you, you can't even, bitch. Do you did, did y'all hear this from, from beginning to end? Nigga, five, five, five. Did y'all hear this from beginning to end? Hmm. Cause what the fuck is this? That bitch used this nigga for that money and that lifestyle. His dumb ass fell for it. I'm so in love. Yeah, bitch. I'm, yeah. And I'm happy for you. So why are you, oh, oh, she was a karmic. He was a karmic. Wow. Oh, the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. We got double Piscean energy on top of each other next to Libra. Bitch, done deal. Right with Capricorn, done deal. Done deal. No, bitch. That's what I'm saying. This motherfucker had a baby with this bitch. All of it, or had a baby with this. However, you know your story, nigga. All of a sudden, this person is, they trying to come. Nigga. <laughs> is everybody smoking dope? Is everybody dusting in coke or something? Like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all dusting cocaine, huh? Because what you riding, you y'all must be riding a white horse. What the fuck are you talking about? Bitch, how you fuck somebody over and think they about to... It be pissing me off because I don't understand it. I mean, that's all that is. <laughs> this some dumb nigga shit. This some dumb bitch shit. Somebody trapped your motherfucking ass. That's what you get. You dumb fuck. You fuck me over the fuck with a trapper. How, how the fuck would I feel bad for the, this person? That That's literally what happened to you, cousin. Whether you are a feminine or a masculine. Nigga. They fucked you over for a trapper. They got trapped. Period. They got used. Now they won't love. I'm sorry. It doesn't live here. <laughs> the fuck love got to do with it? They got fucked over. The only, the only person that I feel bad here for is the baby. It's the kid. That's it. Because the kid ain't have shit to do with nothing. But the but the kid wouldn't be here if it wasn't for two stupid people doing dumb shit. So, again, it ain't the baby's fault. But you ain't about to be no fucking replacement. You are your mother. I will clown you. You are your motherfucking mind because I wish you would. I wish, I wish, I wish you would. Now, because you ain't stupid, I ain't got to worry about that. But, nigga. The seven of swords, the moon, the tower, the empress, and the fucking high priest. Somebody looking at you like you a better mother figure to this motherfucker than this nigga is. You a better father figure to this motherfucker than this nigga is. That's a problem. So I need to fix that. The moon, the empress, the high priest. Somebody's literally looking at you now like you are fucking Mother Teresa. Tried to play you like you was stupid the whole fucking time. Now they seeing it for what it is. Seven of Cups in reverse. They seeing it for what the fuck it really is now. But that ain't your problem. They fucked you over to get trapped. Let them have that. The fuck would you even entertain anything from this person for? I'm about to cheat on you to go fuck with this person. That shit between them did not work out. Somebody got a baby with somebody else thought they was about to be. This about to be the person I'm about to marry. It's my husband. It's my wife. And that's what happened. That's what happened. Ten of swords. So six of cups and the tempers. All of a sudden, here come this person again. They fucked you over. They put all ten swords in your fucking back and left you. Left you just like that. You see this nigga on the ground? That's how they left you. Period. 
and got the nerve to come back around trying to trying to that ain't your problem yeah somebody's happy family didn't work out at the fuck all now oh well, i think that me and you should just three of swords yeah they got the fuck they deserve because she whoever the fuck whoever they have a kid with feminine or masculine whoever the fuck the other parent is is a fucking nutbag this person is a fucking dummy but this person over here the other part they're a nutbag they're a nutbag and they're not too smart you, you those are not good things to put together you need to pick a struggle you can't be a nutbag and be fucking retarded it does that the seven of swords the tower and the seven of cups it took them getting fucked over for them to realize you gone and what the fuck they actually walked out on essentially they fucked you over because i don't know why it might be because they thought somebody was a better fit they looked better they was better i don't know but turns out bitch you went from you went for aluminum foil you dumb fuck oh my god that is real silver that's real metal and it turned out to be aluminum foil you know how niggas was uh back in the day the grills and shit motherfuckers was putting aluminum uh foil in the bottom of they uh on their teeth and shit make it look like they had grills that's the fuck happened to this person you was the real grills and this motherfucker that they got with was aluminum foil Turns out everything that shines, everything that glitters ain't gold, motherfucker. Everything tells me they was, yes. Everything tells me they were fucking this part. She was willing to give it up. She was fucking that nigga six ways from Sunday. Or he was fucking this bitch six ways from Sunday. They, they, was, they was loving that. Yeah, that's where that toxic, that's, that, yeah. The devil works in a crazy way. That sex magic crazy, ain't it? You dumb fuck. Created a baby. Now your ass stuck. You literally are stuck with the devil. You made a you made a you made a life soul contract with the fucking devil. Now you want an angel. You want an earth angel to come in and break you from it? That's not happening. Are you fucking dumb? Nine of cups in reverse. You will never be happy. Not you, cousin, but this person cross watching, you'll never be happy. Cause for some reason I'm picking up a whole lot of cross watchers out of nowhere. I'm picking up on your energy. The hangman, the fool, two of wands, six of wands, yeah, nah. You made a you 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 made a contract with the devil. So you know how like in um what's the vampire movie Twilight? You know how Edward had to bite uh whatever the fuck her name was for her to turn in Bella for her to turn into a vampire. Just y'all are y'all are immortal now, immortal dead people. Well, you're the fucking Walking Dead now. You're the Walking Dead with a child. And you trying to get this is like I ain't seen it. I did I read the uh the description for it. This is like Little Demon on Hulu. I ain't really seen it, but from from the looks of it, this nigga made a contract with the devil, had a baby with the devil, and then fucking turned around and trying to get an earth angel. So motherfuckers are not seeing the same size and shit. They feel and the sick part is the person that fucks you over feels like they're an earth angel. They feel like they they're they're the holy one they're not they made a contract with the devil now they're fucked up they want an earth angel to break them and it's not gonna happen because they know you have the power to break this but you're not doing it so this person's fucked up they want you to break it so they can get this ten of cups after they fucked you over and got trapped that's that's that shit dead i'll be right back 